Good afternoon and welcome to Destination Wellbeing. My guest this afternoon is Michelle Major and um, Michelle and I are hopefully going to um, have a nice, we're surrounded with some Halloween decorations <laughs> and stuff for the day that's in it, um, but we're also hoping to add a wee bit of humour, a wee bit of fun into the whole Destination Wellbeing. So Michelle, welcome along to Thank Destination you, Wellbeing. You're Thank welcome. You. And um, just for anybody watching in, Michelle and I will be talking through, um, I suppose we'll be touching on some mental health mm -hmm. and, and how positive ways that we can look after our mental health and well-being. But um, just to remind our listeners that it's important if they are concerned about their health and their well-being to call in with their doctor and just have a chat with their GP as a first protocol. And then there's lots of other avenues that they can really explore mm -hmm. after that. But one of the other things that we'll hopefully chat about today is, is prevention's better than cure. So mm -hmm. um, in terms of laughter therapy and laughter yoga, which is Michelle's area of expertise, um, we will be chatting around how we can just incorporate it into our daily lives mm -hmm. and, and what we can do. So thanks a million for joining us today, Michelle. And um, Laughter. So Ireland's number one laughter and um, happiness expert. Am I? Have <laughs> so, I got it right? So, or are you somewhere so, in there? So I'm told. Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> well, that's, as long as you were, as long as we're in with that, then that's all all good. Um, <laughs> And everything's been going good. You've, everything's going great. Founder well, yeah. of the Sunshine Project. That's right, the yeah, Sunshine so Project, and um, tell us a also, bit more about it. Um, well, also the the positive pathway as well. That that was my first my first, first born baby. first baby <laughs> first, first baby. baby. Yeah, was a positive. <laughs> and that has evolved very organically into the Sunshine Project, uh, which I launched January of this year, Joanne. Brilliant. So, so. and. Uh, um, reaching out with lots of community groups, lots of, um, mm. is that, that's the general idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. basically the, the, the positive pathway would include coaching and training and in terms of um, personal development and communication skills and all of, you know, how our, our, our thoughts create our feelings and our feelings can create our behaviour, all that yeah. sort of stuff. Yeah. And then the Sunshine Project, it looks at um, Really, laughter is at the heart and soul of the Sunshine Project. Right. So, um, laughter and happiness habits, um, both in the community and the, the educational sector and in the corporate world, for, for both organisations. For all of us. Brilliant. Yeah. My first experience of laughter yoga, and um, for those who maybe are listening in today and it's their first time hearing <laughs> laughter yoga, <laughs> um, it's certainly a unique experience. My first experience of it was when I was doing my relaxed kids training we yeah. would incorporate some laughter yoga exercises into it and then i had the pleasure of joining michelle for world laughter day that's right yeah. um slightly uh taking me completely out of my comfort zone <laughs> and um <laughs> make, and we we laughed for a couple of hours at one sunday morning yeah, stroke afternoon mm. in botanic, botanic gardens, gardens, so gardens in belfast yeah yeah, um, yeah. so uh, we had a group of I don't know, was there maybe 20 of us? About 20, about 20 of us, yeah. Of us. Yeah. It's, it's, it's sort of locked into, <laughs> into my shop part of my memory. Um, but, and we were faking it till we made it, basically. Absolutely, um, yeah. And that's a big that's part the of concept. the idea, the yeah. concept. Mm -hmm. So for anybody who's not familiar with laughter yoga, mm. um, tell us a little bit about how you got involved in it and then exactly what we're talking what we're about. Talking about. Um, well, I got involved back, gosh, a number of years ago, Joanne, um, when I was going through some challenging times in my own life and perhaps wasn't laughing very much myself and I think all of us can relate to that at certain stages yeah. of and, our life. And even in certain stages but generally mm. we don't laugh enough. No, I that's mean right. just as, yeah. a, as a rule of thumb even yeah. life is is good and life is is fine so often we don't laugh uh -huh. as much as what we would as as children Absolutely. or as, um, as we get older we get more cynical and more serious yeah, don't we, we do, and life we do. takes on we, we, we kind of um, with all the to-dos, don't we, and all the responsibility that comes with being an adult, and sometimes we forget that there actually is a wee child, an inner child inside of us all. <laughs> that just wants to giggle. Yeah, that just wants <laughs> to come to out giggle. and play and yeah. have fun. Yeah. So just to give you a statistic on that, actually, uh, children laugh on average about three to 400 times a day, and us a adults, we only laugh about 10. Yeah, we're Sorry. very serious and, and, and a bit depressing really company <laughs> for each other then, aren't we? If we look at it in that element that we just take things so seriously yeah, um, and absolutely. I think too even one of the th programs I have to say I thoroughly enjoy is you've been framed and mm. you know even just for that that you get a giggle, a giggle every, factor, yeah, yeah. a total giggle yeah. factor but yeah. um, so 
that was at that stage in your life yes. when things weren't going weren't going so so great so well. and there's a lot of stress and um, prior to that I'd, I'd done a, I actually started out doing a counselling course back in 2005 and then got involved in energy healing and meditation and things like that um, but it was really at that kind of crisis point in my life that I wasn't laughing that much that a very good friend uh, Jackie said to me why don't you come along to a laughter class and I thought, a laughter class? What on earth is that? <laughs> um, but to be honest, <laughs> at that point, I would have tried anything, yeah, you know, to, to just, feel better about yeah. myself or to feel even anywhere normal. So I went along to the class, Joanne, and I had a, literally I had a really profound experience. Um, the stuff was still there in the outside world. I still had the stresses. But for the one hour class, the busyness, you know, the chitter chatter in our mind, you yeah. know, that yeah. the, the 80,000 thoughts constant. a day. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, that became still. Yeah. And I wasn't thinking, I wasn't thinking about what had happened and I wasn't worrying about the future. Yeah. You and were I was, there yeah. in the moment, in the moment. which is, is where we would all like to be. Absolutely. Um, and it's very difficult to laugh and to think about serious stuff as well so it's, it's, it's impossible it's a, it is it, it, yeah. it actually is impossible and that but that's what really struck me um, because at that time i struggled even to meditate and mm -hmm. um, which i had been doing pre previous to that but this laughter and not only was my mind still but i was in a state of complete joy yeah. for no reason yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which is, is, is again one of there's a deeper <laughs> deeper level to that isn't there to just be joyful just yeah. because you're here you and you can yeah. and you yeah. have that choice to yeah. either allow things or let things in and let them get on top of mm -hmm. us or to to laugh to and, laugh and enjoy it, it. yeah exactly. because um as you say the stuff wasn't there it, it doesn't go away yeah um but worrying about it doesn't make it go away either no. so we might as well laugh and exactly and often i remember whenever i first touched on laughter yoga or, or became familiar with it you know we I'm sure most of us have seen the Patch Adams yes. um, film and um, also the, just the age old saying of laughter is the best medicine mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. it has, as you s I've often heard you talk about and we're all familiar with some of those benefits but mm -hmm. for me whenever I've done a laughter yoga class mm -hmm. um, with yourself, it, it, what always strikes me is actually even how the stomach muscles mm. become it's a good workout. tired. <laughs> it's a really good workout because yeah. for both the cheeks yeah. and the stomach muscles mm -hmm. and that core yeah. inner bit in a fun, mm -hmm. lighthearted, mm -hmm. lighthearted way. Yeah, so, um, so you've been laughing really since. I've been conscious, consciously, consciously laughing. laughing yeah. and we talk about conscious breathing, don't we? And I've been consciously giggling ever since. Yeah. Um, went to all of Jackie's classes anytime she, she was running any classes, I was there. And then went and did my training back in, I think it was 2010. Um, in London and more recently then I did my teacher training to train other people to become leaders so we can get this out into more of our communities yeah. as well. So Spread the word. Spread, spread the, the word, spread the laughter, spread yeah. the joy yeah. and spread the peace as well because when, as you were saying Joanne, when, when you're laughing it's impossible to think or feel any negative thoughts That's or emotions yeah, yeah. and then the natural endorphins get released as exactly. well and yeah. everything becomes we become healthier we become happier and, absolutely um, and I think as a as a nation we have gotten quite serious mm -hmm. and life has got so busy and there's so much going on and thankfully I suppose there's signs maybe that we're coming through recession mm -hmm. stuff and all mm -hmm. of those changes mm -hmm. that are happening mm -hmm. for people but mm -hmm. um, generally speaking you find that life has been serious for a couple of years for people and Absolutely. they're looking they're ready now to, to laugh and, and yeah, to enjoy that's it. to enjoy things i think people are seeking out because i know like a lot of people i was affected quite quite heavily by by the recession that that we hear and um, and for me personally it's all about you know what positive tools can i use in everyday life to help manage the chaos that life can can bring yeah at some because stages. life is it can be challenging mm -hmm. and it can be there you know you, we look at all of the day-to-day -day stuff that people are going through yeah. um right through from it might be financial trouble it might mm -hmm. be relationship stuff mm -hmm. it could be just worrying about children and where they're growing up yeah. and there's so many different aspects and mm -hmm. then we also have um you know there probably mental health 
well, mental well-being is mm -hmm. being challenged more and more by, I think, a whole variety of stuff, be it lifestyle, mm -hmm. diet choices. Mm -hmm. um, there's a whole mix of stuff going in there. Huge. But to take mm -hmm. some time out to just laugh and to mm -hmm. enjoy and, and mm -hmm. to have fun. Is, to just is, be. Yeah, to, to just, just be. To just be mm -hmm. um, in the moment. So the types of groups that you would be working with, Michelle, across a wide oh, range. Oh, broad range. Yeah. Yeah. Really broad Something range. For Something there. for everybody yeah. Something for everybody from wee tiny tots um, in, in um, preschool and primary school, right up to teens, young adults, um, various um, mental health organisations I would work very closely with, delivering both the laughter and the, the personal development stuff, um, right through to elderly. The elderly love the yeah, laughter, love, yeah. they just love it, they yeah. love the connection. Um, and various disabilities as well um, so it, well it's again it's such a broad spectrum because it's something I often say that if you were to go into any boardroom any business stop anybody in the street so right across the spectrum and you were to ask people you know three things that they would like laughter is going to be in there mm. with one of them the ability to relax is going to be certainly another yeah. and just generally to be healthier and yeah. you know somewhere it, but confidence, I think, is another one that comes in there as yeah. well. Confidence mm -hmm. and self-esteem is mm -hmm. another element that, mm -hmm. and I suppose the positive pathway works quite a bit on that to yeah. get people mm -hmm. to, to come through their, their maybe their self-esteem issues. Mm -hmm. And certainly laughing in a room full of people can take you <laughs> that bit out of your comfort zone. Totally. Um, but to allow barriers to be broken down yeah. and, and to people mm -hmm. just to allow themselves to be that wee bit more maybe vulnerable or mm -hmm. um, open to vulnerable in a good sense yes. that you're you know that you allow yourself the the possibility of being more open to yeah. um, various different whatever's coming through yeah. um, for them so um, in terms of then whenever you're somebody's going through some laughter mm -hmm. type exercises and things like that what are we've listed we've talked about some of the benefits what would be the key list of benefits that you would be talking to people um, through there? I, I, I suppose we've touched Touch on, on touched some, on yeah, some of them. Some of um, I suppose the endorphins that are released from the brain throughout the body, they're like the happy hormone as you were saying Joanne, so endorphins are responsible for making us feel really good and you know yourself when you feel good things kind of go very life, well, yeah. life kind of flows a lot easier um, and also when endorphins are responsible for um, natural pain relief. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm always fascinated by the fact that, that 15 minutes of hearty laughter is the equivalent of two hours pain relief, mm -hmm. which is quite extraordinary. Quite extraordinary. Um, and it, as, you, as you said, it also reduces the levels of cortisol in the body. Mm -hmm. So when we become stressed, we tend to um, release more cortisol. And if we're under prolonged periods of stress, then that can lead to a weakened immune system and yeah. possibly yeah. getting sick. It's incredible. Um, when I'm working on people's feet through reflexology, yeah. um, the adrenals, you can often just feel them mm -hmm. and they're just, mm -hmm. you know, they're just on fire and, mm -hmm. and you just realise. And actually what I find quite often happens is that it's actually not until the person has come out of the stressful scenario and yeah. they're on their way that actually these things start to kick in That's so true. it's a bit like um you go on holidays and you get sick yes um yeah. because it, what has happened is is that whilst you've been in the thick of whatever's going on so it's actually part of the healing process mm -hmm. that sometimes people can start to feel that things aren't working the way they're meant to but it's probably it's been through the stressful period that that has actually happened for them mm -hmm. but they aren't able to notice it because they're so caught up in Absolutely. what's going on and when they come through it but as you say you know the adrenals and the cortisone production and um, there's times where I've actually said to people you know look you know have a chat with your adrenals mm -hmm. and just tell them it's okay thanks mm -hmm. for the support but it's okay and I to switch mm -hmm. off because yeah. they're just constantly going and laughter and positivity is such a, a an anecdote to that. Of course it's, it is. It's yeah. the, it's the yeah. reverse of mm -hmm. allowing them to be stressed. Mm -hmm. It gives them a wee break for mm -hmm. a while. So, um, any major projects coming up at the moment? Pardon the pun. <laughs> <laughs> Just realised yeah, what I said yeah. there. Um, um, yeah, there's lots, there's lots going on at the minute and um, lots in the community and um, lots going on in schools as well, in preschool yeah. and P1 and P2. Um, yeah, lots of projects and, and I'm looking to um, incorporate retreats into my offering for next year as well. Um, because I think just immersing, 
one day workshops and two day courses are fantastic and they're really good but actually getting immersed and being there for for two three days i think is yeah, exactly. well i find it useful over the years oh, definitely it's really yeah. good I mean, i'm you, sure you, you have you too stretch out. yeah i had yeah. um i didn't have a full holiday this year but had a, a three a two day retreat in donegal actually mm. and it was just mm. it was like it was like a week anywhere else because you had no rush into an airport you had no stress before you went. It was sort of, okay, it's Friday afternoon now and I'm heading to Donegal and yeah. off you went and just complete escapism. And um, it was really, really very, very enjoyable. It was You've reminded me actually, um, the last time I was on Destination Neuri with, yes, with, with Rowan. With Rowan. Um, yeah. And um, I remember he'd, he'd spoken about, to one of the other uh, people he was interviewing about holidays, about going on holidays. and. I can't remember, his, I'll paraphrase here, I can't remember exactly what he said, but it was something along the lines of, but let's incorporate stuff into our daily lives so that every day feels like a holiday. Well, and every week feels like a holiday. Yeah. You know, so yeah. different practices it, it, that yeah. you're not waiting for that two week break every year to go, ah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. No, prevention's much better than cure. And Absolutely. as I said, most of us wait for the two week break and certainly the vast majority of people that mm -hmm. I talk to then mm -hmm. end up sick. Yeah. For the yeah. first couple of days of it because their yeah. system is just so overwhelmed mm. with everything that's going on that they'll um they'll switch off and then everything hits them. And yeah. it's like, you know, if we're if we're looking after ourselves throughout the year, then that's and three hundred and sixty five days of the year, mm -hmm. then that's where our well being really comes into play mm -hmm. and um because two weeks if we're if we're caught up, um and Rowan's words of wisdom as you say, mm -hmm. slightly paraphrasing, but um I suppose that idea that you know to just take two weeks out is a shock to the system nearly mm -hmm. it's like well you know what what do I do whenever I've just got time off and um, I think with kids as well it's important now their wee lives are so busy mm -hmm, and completely. they're just spinning all mm. the time and they're going running 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 and it's I need this info and I can get it straight away and I had Sonia from the natural therapy directories mm. on um, not last week, the week before, and we were chatting about just children and, mm. and how important it is for them to mm -hmm. be happy, to be healthy, and, mm -hmm. and to enjoy their just life and living, and, and for childhood, us as well, it's just really. childhood. Yeah. But, but for us, you were talking about the inner child mm. stuff, and just to let that inner child out to play mm -hmm. and um, have a bit of fun mm -hmm. with life and, and what's going on. And really, the for me, the big thing with laughter yoga and laughter exercises is the is that idea that it doesn't have to you don't have to laugh at anything in particular exactly yeah um, you I can suppose we didn't even touch on that did yeah, we? <laughs> no, we, can, we can go into that so yeah, um, yeah. yeah. You do, and that's true you don't need comedy jokes or a sense of humor to laugh so sometimes we're conditioned as you said to think that we need certain things to laugh and laughter yoga is all about really cultivating as you were saying Joanne that that inner child and allowing it out to play mm -hmm. and that's what we do we do a series of exercises whereby um, it creates this kind of playfulness mm -hmm. uh, followed by um, some clapping chanting and deep yogic breathing mm -hmm. so a nice yeah. combination yeah and the uh, laughter yoga am I right in saying it originally came from a doctor in, you're going to have to fill me in now because yeah. my mind's gone slightly blank, but the <laughs> idea behind it was that people were getting generally too serious and a, a doctor was researching yeah. the whole idea. So mm -hmm. um, tell me a wee bit more about the, um, the background. That, it's funny you man mentioned Patch, Patch Adams because mm -hmm. Patch Adams was actually one of the, um, I suppose, he ins inspired Dr. Madame Kataria who was the medical doctor that founded Laughter Yoga. Um, and he was basically writing a doctorate paper on all the benefits of laughter and he couldn't believe that there wasn't a practice in the world um, that encouraged la that was laughter when therapy. there was so many benefits mm, yeah. yeah I mean it's, it's certainly on a par with exercise yeah and mm -hmm. every street corner everywhere we turn there's there's mm -hmm. exercise classes and there's more increasingly more of them so yeah. um, they so he couldn't figure this out that why has somebody not done something yeah, like this. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. He says, gosh, I can't. So it actually started off with just five people in a, in a park in Mumbai. And how it actually started was one got into the middle, told a joke, and they all laughed. Ha, 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 ha. And um, that went on, so on and so forth, for about two weeks. And then the joke started to become a wee bit thin on the ground. And um, 
they started to become a wee bit offensive and the, the very small group said, Dr. Madame Kataria, this isn't really having a positive effect. Yeah, I suppose that's one of the things too when you talk about it being yeah. offensive. Sometimes yeah. people's sense of humour, if you're laughing at something, what I find offensive, you might find very funny yes. and, and vice versa or if, particularly if it's directed, if it's only a small group of people. Exactly. And you say something to me, well, you might <laughs> think it's going to be funny, but I'm going to be sensitive that day and take exactly. offence to it yeah. or whatever. So, yeah. um, so they they, so they, they changed they, tactics. They changed so. tactics, yeah. Dr. Madame Kataya, he said, look, give me, give me 24 hours. I promise I'll come up with a new concept. So Trude is where he went home, got all the research papers out, um, of which Pat Chatham's was one of the guys that he, oh, that he okay, was reading okay, up yeah. uh, about. And he um, decided that actually we're going to laugh for no reason. We're just going to laugh for no reason and uh, be playful. And that's how the concept came about. And then himself and his wife were both uh, yoga instructors or teachers. So that's where he incorporated, because he knew the power of the breath and how important it was for a healthy, oxygenated body. So that's where the yoga came, came in to, that, to, uh, to yeah. play. Well, we yeah. had um, David Johnson had was in with me last oh, week. Todd yes, McNury David, had a, yeah. a pretty big yoga event on Sunday that's afternoon, right. uh -huh. and um, there was I think possibly upwards of about 40 people practicing, which uh -huh. was a lovely, lovely. class, mm -hmm. and the energy was lovely, mm. and everything was really, really nice in it. Um, and I managed to get in for the two hours, and I have to say, again, talking about the, the stomach muscles after laughter yoga, I woke up yesterday on Monday morning, and I was like, what happened to me here? <laughs> <laughs> How did this? How did, where, who, have I, who has just beaten me whilst I've been sleeping? Because I think all the muscles, and it's been a while since I've been at a yoga class, yeah. so... Um, but as you say, all the benefits and, and, you know, the one thing is the the stretching, but it's actually taking in the breath and, mm -hmm. and becoming aware so of important. the breath is, is mm -hmm. so much. When we take it so for granted. Oh, goodness. I mean, it's, it's, mm -hmm. totally. totally. It's like I would say, you know, you only know you have teeth when you have a toothache or you only notice the parts of the body that aren't working when they stop or when, when they're giving you bother or when mm -hmm. they start screaming at you mm -hmm. and going, I need some attention. Mm -hmm. Can somebody please take care of me That's here? Because so I can't keep taking care of myself mm -hmm. unless somebody else is going to do something for us. So, um, and that's the, the, the concept, the whole idea behind it really um, just for me was that I lo loved about the idea of laughter yoga. Mm -hmm. It's just that it just happens, it just flows. And, and as you get into it, it sounds, for anybody listening in who maybe hasn't experienced laughter, we probably sound quite crazy. <laughs> <laughs> probably. <laughs> you know, what, what do you mean? You laugh. For no reason. For no reason. <laughs> and you laugh with people that you don't know, and you laugh. Yeah. But once people are open to it, it yeah. really just flows as a natural mm -hmm. as a natural practice. And mm -hmm. um, the laughter energy is, has been introduced to you at the start of the programme as our laughter expert, yeah. um, our Ireland's number one laughter ex expert. It, that concept is growing and growing all the time. Oh, so completely. It's fabulous. Yeah, so there, completely. there has to be, there's a, an, an addictive quality to it as well. Because yeah, because you feel, you, the, the thing that, that really attracted me to the laughter yoga was it's instant you instantly feel really good and you know yourself when you see somebody smile or laugh yeah. it's contagious isn't it yeah, you well want to it. smile and laugh as yeah. well and it so. reminds me of the poem um and i might be able to remember some of it now but smiling is infectious you catch it like the flu when That's someone right. smiled at me today i started That's smiling right, too yeah. um which is and laughter is is infectious as well Completely. really isn't it it's, Completely. That, it's that idea yeah. but um, and if I would have used that smiling as infectious when I, in another previous life when I used to do customer service training mm -hmm. and you know we just don't know what's going on in other people's mm -hmm. worlds um, and what they're dealing with mm -hmm. on a daily basis but if we can bring some humour and a smile and even it's not full laughter but even just a smile at somebody as we meet them on the mm -hmm. street um, there was once there, were talk, there was research come out recently in I think possibly in the south, I can't remember, but I was listening in on it and they were saying that if, you know, if somebody was feeling very depressed or mm -hmm. possibly suicidal or that, and they were in that really dark frame of mm. mind on a particular day, that to have somebody just wave at them mm. or smile at them can be the difference between them making a decision to maybe end their lives yeah. and a decision mm -hmm. to keep going because it mm -hmm. feels like, um, and so often I, and I think increasingly, I'm, I suppose it's changing too because we can generalise a lot as well, but um, I've noticed that people nearly 
you know, they've, they've went in, they, even if you're in a lift with somebody or that, mm. it's all avoid eye contact. Let's Course. not look yeah. at each other. Let's not mm -hmm. possibly allow ourselves mm -hmm. to be open enough for yeah. that. Um, mm -hmm. And we maybe acknowledge somebody, be it even at a shop counter, so often we're maybe caught up, and I'm as guilty of it. In fact, I was mentioning it to David last week as well, where I was saying about going to get my hair done, and I sort of thought, yeah, this is great, the hairdresser has Wi-Fi, and I can get this done and get that done, mm -hmm. and realised halfway through that mm -hmm. I hadn't even spoken to the girl. I'd hardly spoken, I mean, I'd obviously spoken to her, and I was polite to her, but yes. I didn't. It was a different girl than what usually does my hair, and I hadn't even engaged in yeah. any way with her, mm, and you know, so and that's true. and I would try to be aware of it. So mm. I understand that when people, you know, when mm -hmm. we're just busy, we can't mm -hmm. be just busy. Mm -hmm. But a simple smile and a mm -hmm. and a giggle can be as as good as anything. Really, Absolutely, and that and and that is actually how we start to laugh is eye contact. So that that's one thing that we that 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 I and and also the other um, leaders that have trained is all about eye contact, so making lots and lots of lovely eye contact. And actually there is a laughter exercise called um, elevator laughter, where we pretend <laughs> <laughs> we're in a lift going up the different levels. And it's true, you get into a lift and nobody makes any eye contact at and all. And everybody's just and sort of looking down, down, looking at the floor. And whereas mm. It'll go like that if we just open up and have a chat. And, and yeah. I mean, in Ireland, they talk about 90% of people couldn't start a conversation if they didn't talk about the weather. <laughs> um, and it changes so often that that yeah. gives us a pretty good conversation yeah. to have. Yeah. And even if it is just that, God, the weather's not great today, or you know, where did the sun mm. go, or where you know, the clocks have changed. You can fairly see the dark mm. evenings. It's just interaction, isn't it? Course, really, engaging. and it's mm -hmm. and engaging with mm -hmm. people. And as you say, as long as people with the eye contact but don't take or, or aren't sensitive enough <laughs> to take any event, <laughs> offense, and it's all and that's the beauty of it being in that environment is that it's not, um, you know, it's not you're not going to, you wouldn't normally walk up to somebody in the street and shake their hand and start laughing in their <laughs> face because they might feel it a bit strange. But you can do that in a in a closed environment yeah. and it becomes part of the fun and part of the idea of, of making each yeah. other laugh. And, yeah. um, and I think it's a gift that you can give to somebody else too. I mean, we all know mm. the person that makes us laugh. Mm -hmm. Even mm -hmm. right years later, having left college and stuff, like you can remember the joker in the class and you, you remember can. the person that um, always caused the bit of havoc but made yeah. everybody else laugh yeah. whilst they were yeah. doing it and added humour to mm -hmm. situations. Mm -hmm. um, and what nicer way to be remembered than to be remembered for making people laugh Absolutely. as opposed to depressing them or making them um, not so happy on yeah. the day, which can happen as well. So um, I think that's really the message uh, to anybody out there is if you notice a laughter yoga class popping up in your community mm -hmm. anywhere, yeah. um, wherever you are across mm. the world, because it is a worldwide movement. It's international, it's a, it's yeah. an international mm -hmm. organization. All over so, the world. Um, certainly give it a go. But if that's not possible, introduce a bit of humor mm -hmm. into your day and um, find something that does make you laugh. Even, you know, once a week or even some of the you know the television and stuff that's on like can be so depressing mm. and so I said that's why I would love like I love the gold TV or whatever it is that play nearly play uh, you've been framed on you know on repeat yes. and I know you're maybe laughing at other people's expense but I sort of take it that well if they've, if they've sent in the video they're quite happy for it. they've obviously yeah. found it funny themselves and um, but just to have that 20 minutes or a few minutes of, of laughter yeah. and joy mm -hmm. um, and to find a way of incorporating a bit more lightheartedness and not to take ourselves so seriously. Mm -hmm. um, I know one of the things they say is that the angels can fly because they take themselves so lightly, lightly and that's, yeah. um, I would sort of try to live by that and recognising as well that not every day, mm. it's maybe not 100% possible every day and every day we're not in the form mm. for it or in the mood for it but if we can set out that at least a couple of times a week we giggle or we're more aware I think it can often start to for me it, whenever I first heard of laughter yoga um, I sort of hadn't really thought that I didn't laugh mm. it was you know it was sort of oh yeah oh, okay yeah no I don't actually really laugh yeah. as much as maybe what I should or and there was nothing but no particular reason for it other than just getting older getting cynical and, and uh -huh and becoming a bit more serious or feeling that you needed to. Um, so just being aware of the lack of laughter mm, in your life I think can actually give you a pointer to yeah. start mm -hmm. bringing more laughter mm -hmm. into it, really. I think that yeah. that's a really good point, actually, because I think a lot of people that, that, that come to my class initially, at the end of it, the majority of them say, goodness, 
I didn't I haven't laughed like that in years. Yeah. Or the last the last time I laughed like that was at college or at secondary school or when this they can actually remember a significant event that they laughed, really had yeah. that big belly, belly laugh, laugh for a long yeah. time. Yeah. And I think that's it. It just brings awareness to laughter and yeah. how little Yeah, and in, in recognising how little we laugh mm. then we begin to to maybe bring more fun exactly. in and incorporate it in and to enjoy even, you know, when you're looking at small children and enjoying time with them and, and just bringing the yeah. humour into it mm -hmm. or older adults or whatever age group it is mm -hmm. or friends even. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I would know there are sometimes like a group of us now who would have all went to school together, we'd get together and it's all fairly serious stuff that we'll chat about yeah. until somebody says something that triggers a laugh and then we're off and then it yeah. totally takes the conversation yeah. off in a different direction of and it's like it I don't want, really want to talk about that serious stuff yeah. we just sort of felt maybe we had to yeah. but the, really what we want is to get together and have a good have laugh and have fun mm -hmm. so Michelle thank you very much for thank your time you, this afternoon and um, Michelle's details will be available on screen there as well but you can find Michelle at either um, the Positive Pathway or the Sunshine Project mm -hmm. and it, that's this www.thesunshineproject.co.uk mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank you very much, Michelle. Thanks, and thank Joanne. you to all our listeners for listening in and watching in this afternoon.